Good morning. Uh, welcome to Daily Currency Update from the Currency Desk. First of all, uh, we would like to wish you a very happy Dhanteras and a happy Diwali and a happy New Year on behalf of Currency Advisory Desk. Coming to the daily views for the day, uh, firstly, we will continue with the news updates. We saw the Indian Rupee post losses for the day on Thursday, which was mainly being backed by a slightly less dovish stance being indicated by the US Federal Reserve. What this means is that the tapering which was expected to be delayed for a longer period of time would now be done earlier. This tapering of the US uh, Federal Reserve quantitative easing 3 would in turn remove the excess liquidity from the markets or you know, st temporarily stop the influx of the excess liquidity. Based on this, uh, we saw the US dollar strengthen in the global markets. Similar trend was seen against the Indian rupee as well. But yes, overall, the US dollar did pose monthly gains for the month of October, which is the second straight, straight monthly gains for the US dollar versus the Indian rupee. And we can see that the overall sentiment is seeming to be slightly bullish for the Indian rupee. In the morning session, we saw the Asian equity markets open slightly mixed to lower. This was mainly attributed to the fact that uh, there was slightly mixed data from the Chinese front in terms of two types of manufacturing PMIs being released. Both were slightly above the expectations but still uh, it remains to be seen what is ahead. At the same time, because of the Fed's less dovish stance, we are seeing somewhat uh, negative impact on the risk on assets and based on this we could see some downside as well again coming to one of the major indicators of uh, the currency movement that is the crude oil prices in the international markets they were more or less stable coming down by around a dollar which is basically erasing the previous day's gains and considering the current steady low prices for the crude oil we could see some support for the Indian rupee from this end. Again, we saw the US Treasury also dip yesterday based on the strong Midwest uh, data and based on this, we are seeing some easing in the sentiments that you know the US shutdown had a lot of impact on the US economy but yes, uh, contrary to this, we are seeing some positive data coming in and because of which we could see some strength for the US dollar and the US markets as well. Now, as we said earlier that US dollar gained against most currencies, similar trend was against the Euro as well. The Euro posted a lot of losses in the trading session yesterday, giving its biggest one day falls fall since the past six months. At the same time in the morning session, we saw the Euro trading weaker in the Asian trade. Overall, this was being attributed to the fact that not only because of the Fed's do less dovish stance, but also we had the Euro area CPI inflation data, which came in much lower than expected. And at the same time, the unemployment data came in higher than expected. Based on the U euro crisis worsening fears we expect that the ecb could well ease monetary policy and give some monetary stimulus first of which measure would be the lowering of interest rates and based on this we saw the euro fall yesterday coming to the offshore markets the us dollar versus the indian rupee non deliverable forwards was trading slightly higher at 62.70 levels as compared to the previous trading days levels. Again, the US dollar index was also slightly stronger in the morning session trading 0.09% on the upside at 80.42 levels. Now, coming to the technical overview, the technical trend in all the four currency pairs does remain bullish. And uh, as you can see here, uh, one can initiate a position, a fresh long position at current levels 
with a stop loss near the support levels as you can see which is 61.22 for the US dollar and keep a target near the resistance levels as that is 62.18 so basically on the upside we can target all the resistance mentioned here coming to the important events for the day we have the UK manufacturing PMI data for the month of October we have the US ISM manufacturing data for the month of October again we have the Indian PMI data as well to be released today also we have a statement from a certain Fed FOMC member also along with that we have a the Indian bank rate and the foreign exchange uh, reserves uh, to be disclosed today. Based on the Indian data, we could not we would not see much of movement. But yes, based on the US and the UK data, we could see some movement in the pound versus the US dollar and the US dollar versus the euro rate movement. Thank you.